fast food. We love it. Whether it be a chunky burger from McDonald's or a fresh meal from Chipotle, it all comes together to provide millions of Americans the food we want. However, could you imagine if there was no fast food? A life where every meal you had was made by ourselves or in an expensive restaurant? Life wouldn't be the same. Flashback to the 1980s, when you get home from work, it's a Monday evening, and you just had the longest day ever. There's nothing in your fridge except a block of cheese and lemonade. You want nothing more than a warm meal with no hassle. But, you got no choice and slave away at the stove for just some food. This was most likely a struggle many Grace Lakeians had to face. However, it wasn't until 1987 when something revolutionary had to be unveiled before their eyes. The very first fast food restaurant in Grays Lake. Benita, successful toasting requires the use of all six senses. Mm, that's hot. Okay, I want you to think of buns as a warm blanket, gently comforting the burger. There's nothing more important than a well-toasted bun. That's true. You agree with me on that? Right now, get a quarter pound Boss of Works burger for just 99 cents. Order a Boss of Works combo for $2.99 and we'll jumbo size it for only 10 cents more. Hardy's first opened up in the 1960s in Greenville, North Carolina, which was created by Wilbur Hardy. The Hardy's restaurant began to spread across the Midwest and the Southwest. Hardy's is best known for its burgers and the franchise was introduced to Grace Lake in September of 1987. This was no easy accomplishment, however. The township was very well known for setting abnormally high limitations when it came to commercial business within its borders. According to Mr. Watt, the board of Grays Lake was overly hesitant with commercial businesses being opened in the public. From the possible consequences they weren't willing to deal with, it was said that they didn't want to attract quote-unquote hoodlums inside of Grays Lake territory. For that reason alone, the village did their best to keep their businesses under wraps. However, after overcoming the obstacles, the newly built fast food restaurant bloomed. It would end up sprouting a new atmosphere for Grays Lake that was never seen before. It was claimed by Watt himself that when the restaurant first opened, people gathered around the area daily, and the waves of customers would overcrowd the store. Hardy's was an instant success. Hardy's success wasn't solely based off of their food. We found that there were many factors that took part in building the company's reputation within Grays Lake. Again, Hardy's wasn't the first restaurant of Grays Lake. At the time, the people still had options. For example, there was still the iconic dog and suds that we all know and love. However, the Hardy's chain introduced a much faster paced style of serving, being able to meet very high demands at a faster rate that other businesses at the time would have never been able to keep up with. The building itself was located on the corner of two big time roads in Grizzly. This meant that it was able to attract any customers from abroad, via 83 as well as the locals through South Barron. Like a billboard on a highway, the restaurant itself was its own advertisement, reeling people in at the bat of a eye. Along with this, the location was the perfect hangout spot right near downtown, and many teenagers came to hang out. It was an option for any occasion. It was even said that teachers came to do their work there. Hardy's boomed. Its increasing popularity began to attract more and more customers. It was a hit, and thus the attraction would change the atmosphere of Grays Lake, with new options of worldwide food that would compete with Grays Lake traditional food joints. However, eight years of success was not enough to keep the business open. High rent costs brought an end to Grays Lake's first fast food restaurant, and McDonald's was open nearby shortly after, which was the second place in Grays Lake. In Hardy's spot, a new restaurant opened. Charcoal Delights opened in place of Hardy's. However, it closed shortly after due to rent problems as well. Many years later, Jack's Pizza opened up in the same location, but it was quickly shut down due to arrest. Now it's taken a turn away from food and becoming a physical therapy office. Hardy's was a symbol to the changing atmosphere for Grays Lake, from nearly indigenous traditional cultures to introducing them with popular cultural foods. Although Hardy's does not have many historical stories in Grays Lake, it was instead the first place to bring fast food to the Grays Lake community, and it has been remembered since then.